Hi guys, Happy New Year! I hope everyone's 2023 is off to a good start. I know this is long overdue, but you know, here we are. I am doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to do a purely Dollar Tree only craft. Everything I have here, I bought from the Dollar Tree with my own money. And I'm just going to see how it works because these are, some of these are Cricut dupes and honestly, I'm shook by it. Look at this. This is their, let's see if it'll focus. This is their craft, what is it? Crafter Square Craft Picker. Looks exactly like the Cricut Weaving Tool. They have this same brand, a uh, spatula looks exactly the same and then I can't find my version of this but they have a little scraper like what I'm I'm shook I also got this cute little weeding scrap collector there which I've seen these for years and I just never like I don't know I just never got one then they have this permanent vinyl which this I am so skeptical like like, I can't with how skeptical I am on it, but I'm going to give it a shot. You know, why why not give it a try? So, obviously, I'll have to report back to see how it actually wears, but we'll see. Then, I am using my all-time favorite wine glasses. This is also from the Dollar Tree, so I left the barcode on there so you could still see it. But, I don't think it says Dollar Tree on there anywhere, but this is... A Dollar Tree wine glass. Alright, to start, I am in Design Space and I'm gonna come over here to New Project. And for this, I wanna do something really simple. So I'm gonna come over here to Phrases. And this is the 2023 version of Design Space. I'm realizing that some of my old videos are becoming obsolete because they freaking change their stuff so often. But this is the 2022. 2020, good God, 2023 version. So I'm going to do phrases and I'm going to uh, filter this for free just to make sure everyone can make this. I'm going to use this good vibes only just because it's simple. I'm going to click add to canvas. And for this, I'm only going to do them in white. So I'm going to come over here to the what doesn't look like anything because it's just a box with a question mark on it but that basically just means that there's like multiple colors selected so it's not gonna like have a color but this is where you can change your colors I'm gonna change everything to white and then for wine glasses I feel like usually smaller is better especially with something like this that's so curvy so I'm gonna make this small like two and a half by a little less than two and a half. And so before we click make it, I want to make sure that this all cuts out as one piece because right now it's showing over here as all separate words. So I'm going to come here to combine and there's so many different ways you can do this now. I have a whole video going through each one of these, but since this is really simple, I'm just going to click weld. So now you can see our design is one welded image. So I'm gonna come over here to make it. We're gonna make this on the mat. Click confirm. Our design is all ready to go. We don't have to mirror. We don't have to do anything like that because we're just cutting on vinyl. So let's click continue. It's gonna find my machine. So I don't think that this Dollar Tree vinyl has any like directions with it, but I'm going to go with just a normal vinyl setting. So I'll switch you guys over to the camera so we can make it. All right. So the Dollar Tree Crafter Square vinyl, well, it says vinyl paper, which I'm like, that's weird, but whatever. It says permanent. Um, this is 12 inches by 48 inches and it says water resistant, easy to weed adhesive, effortless to ap apply, works with most vinyl craft cutters. Well, we will see all about that. So let's open it. All right, so first impressions, I mean, not much to it. It's just 
vinyl, just like a normal roll of vinyl, so we'll just have to see how it cuts. So for this, I'm going to be using my Cricut Light Grip Mat, so if the Dollar Tree could get some dupe mats, that would be amazing. If they already do, let me know. I'll go check them out. So just going to apply this to the mat. So for this, I'm just going to be cutting off a, oh no, I'm just going to be cutting off a piece just because I don't need this whole thing. So you can see this is like a glossy vinyl and then on the back it has a normal carrier sheet. So let's see how we do. So I'm just going to apply this to the mat like normal. I'll use my new uh, I'll use my new scraper to scrape it down. So you can see the scraper. So this I'm guessing is the front. This is the back. It has this like texture on the back. So I'm just gonna scrape it down. So we're just going to load our mat like normal. And now it's going to cut, so I'm super anxious to see how it's going to cut. So now that our arrow is blinking, we can cut. While that's cutting, I'm going to prep my glass like normal. I just have some rubbing alcohol on a cotton ball. And I'm just going to wipe down the glass. Just to get any dirt fingerprints off of it. Alright, so we'll unload. So, first impressions. I mean, it looks like it cut pretty good. Looks like we have a couple of the little middles that have come up here. But that, that happens with regular vinyl too, especially on smaller ish designs but I mean it looks like it cut pretty good all right so to get this off the mat like I normally do I'm going to flip it over and I'm kind of going to like peel the mat away from the vinyl this is going to help it from curling well the vinyl curling but be careful you don't want to snap your mat so one thing that I notice is that it looks like it kind of like cut it's so weird. It like cut through the vinyl. So like it cut the carrier sheet a little bit, but I mean, it still looks okay. So now I'm going to use the weeding tool. This, I feel like you really cannot mess this up. There's so many other options for this too. Not even just the Dollar Tree, but also like you know, Amazon, whatever. So, I'll zoom you in a little bit. And unfortunately, I picked white. So, it's going to be difficult for you to maybe see on a white table. But, whatever. So, normally how I weed, I'm going to just do everything as I would normally. Oh my god, you really can't see that. Here, hold on. I just grabbed a piece of card so you can maybe see it a little bit better so normally I just pick up a corner and I just peel away so it looks like it is all peeling up pretty well like none of the letters are catching so now what I normally do is I go in and I get the middles, oops, I 
how does, okay, so like, how does this guy work? Do I just go, wow, game changer, why did I never have this before? Oh my god. I'm mad. <laughs> Because the amount of vinyl I have had on my fingers is insane. Okay. So this is good to go now. So now I'm just going to use my transfer tape. Alright, so for transfer tape, I'm using my go-to expressions vinyl transfer tape. This is, in my opinion, my, my personal favorite. So I'm... Since this is normally what I use, this is the transfer tape I'm going to use here just to see if everything is done the same. How does the vinyl perform? Alright, so I'm just going to peel a piece. I feel like I really messed this up. Alright, so I'm just peeling a piece. Oh my god, that is like the worst. Alright, so like normal, I'm just going to place my transfer tape, and you can use whatever you want, but this is what I like to use. I'm gonna place it on the transfer tape, or I'm sorry, on the butt. Place the transfer tape on the vinyl. Can you tell I haven't recorded in forever? I'm like really just doing my best here using my Dollar Tree scraper. So I think another real test is how is this going to transfer onto the transfer tape. So normally how I do it is I'll flip the sheet and I kind of like peel the carrier sheet away from the transfer tape. So you can see so, I'm so sorry, the camera, I should, I mean, I should have, I'm so sorry, definitely should not have picked white. So, it transferred onto that transfer tape, like, literally, seamlessly. So, one of the tricks for wine glasses, or just any, like, curved surface, is trimming away as much transfer tape as possible, because it just makes it easier to work with, and especially because we're putting, like, round letters on a round surface, like, could I have made this more challenging for myself? But it just makes it a little bit easier. And then what also helps is if you snip some little... I don't know what you would call these, like... I don't know. It just helps. It helps when you're peeling it away. I saw this on a tutorial, like, years ago when I first started, and I just continue to do it. Let's see how this applies. So, let's see, easiest way to do this. So you guys can see, but just so I can still... I'm going to try and center this as best as I possibly can. So for me, when I do wine glasses, I think it's best to kind of like, once you get it lined up, kind of bend it like this so it's like a little taco and press the center first and then like work your way out so hopefully you can tell what I mean I'm just like bending it hitting the middle first kind of pressing that middle down and then I'm just gonna work each side with my fingers first Make sure I can get everything smoothed down as best as possible. Now I'm going to do the other side. Oh my god, I'm like so nervous, you guys. It's like... All right, so now I have everything smoothed down. So now I'm gonna go back with my Dollar Tree scraper. See, I try to like film eight different things while I'm doing this and things just happen. So my 
tripod just fell. Alright, as I was saying, going with my scraper. You guys, I just got a comment on one of my videos from like a year ago, and the person was like, you look like Ryan Reynolds, but great tutorial. Like, what? Oh my god. People are so weird. Okay. I mean, I guess that's a good thing because Ryan Reynolds is like a smoke show. All right. So we have our transfer tape. We have our vinyl on. So now we can just peel away. So I think the best way to peel away transfer tape from vinyl, no matter what kind of transfer tape it is, is I like to like peel and press. And I just kind of let the transfer tape lead the way. All right, so there is our Dollar Tree, like purely Dollar Tree cup here, wine glass. I'm looking, I'm gonna try and like get it cl as clear as possible. No bubbles. And honestly, it was like so easy to work with. So who knows how this is actually going to perform. I'm gonna have to just like drink a lot of wine to like figure it out or just use this cup a lot. But, like, I'm pretty impressed, honestly. All right, guys, so that is it for our Dollar Tree wine glass tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm honestly, like, pretty shook with how good this all turned out. Like, amazing. And honestly, too, even if it's, you know, maybe not the best quality vinyl ever, I feel like for a beginner, like, to practice with, like, why wouldn't you buy this? You know what I mean? Like, it just seems like a no-brainer, but I, to me, this worked out really well for me. And as always, these are just my opinions. Like, this is not, like, you don't have to do exactly what I do. You don't have to buy exactly what I buy. I just wanted to test it out, but I'm, I'm impressed. So, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm really... Happy to be back filming. I'm trying to be more active, but you know, life just happens. So we're here, so I'm just going to keep riding the wave. So as always, happy crafting.